What's up guys, it's Smith here from GamersHeroes.com. I've got a quick guide for you today in Dragon's Dogma 2 on who you should give the Jedi Orb to. Now there's a few different ways of doing this quest because you can forge the item itself. So when you arrive in the town, that merchant down there will be like, find the Jedi Orb for me. You can come up here, this merchant will also say, I also want the orb. You can then come speak to Ibrahim down here who forges items for you. So what you want to do is speak to Ibrahim, give him the official Jedi Orb that you can buy from his store. So buy it from him first. Give it to him and make a forgery. It takes, I don't know, about a day and a half, so you might have to rest and then pass some time a couple times. Um, once you've got the two items, now there's various choices here, but I've come up with what I think is the best solution. If you give the fake one to the guy down here, he's really excited, he's going to take it back to his master. He's probably going to get in trouble for that later. So if moral implication is your thing, do not give him the fake one. You want to give him the real one. Then you've got Evard up here. If you give him the fake one, he will ask to get it verified at Ibrahim. So you'll give it to him here. He'll bring it down to Ibrahim's and ask to get it verified. While Ibrahim's verifying it, you can pay him gold to lie to Everard, tell him it's the legitimate article. It costs 12,000 gold to do it. When you finish the quest for Everard, he will give you 12,000 gold and a Skullduggery ring. So if you do it my way, you'll get 12,000 gold that you have to spend anyway, so you don't really get that. You get 3,000 off the other guy. You get an elite camping kit. And you get the Skullduggery ring. Now, again, I'm not sure if there's any impact on this later. Um, I'll update the pinned comment down below if there is an impact. But I reckon just for me, I like to play it safe and do the nice thing to people. I don't want to get the other guy killed. So give Everard here the fake one. Pay Ibrahim the 12,000 to convince Everard it's legit. You'll get the money back and then you get a free ring as well. And then give the real one down to this guy down here. So when little Samwise here goes running off back to his master, he doesn't get eaten alive. So it's nice and quick, nice and easy. Get when you can get back to the game. If we helped you out today, do like, subscribe, we do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care now.